She would come to help untold numbers of people through her groundbreaking discoveries in the worlds of chemistry and medicine. She succeeds in, among other things, finding a cure for the deadly disease childhood leukemia. Her name is Gertrude Ellion. Gertrude Ellion grows up and studies to be a chemist in New York in the 1940s. During her lifetime, being a part of developing many new groundbreaking drugs. But the greatest is the breakthrough for the treatment of the cancer disease called childhood leukemia. I think I'm most proud of the fact that so many of the drugs have really been useful in saving lives. I've run into people whose lives have been saved and the kind of satisfaction that you get from having someone come up and say, my child had acute leukemia and your drug saved him. Before Elian's discovery, only one out of 10 children survived the disease. Today, quite the opposite is true. The great majority are cured now when caught in time. When someone becomes sick with cancer, it means that something has gone wrong in some of the cells in the body. They begin to divide and grow uncontrollably. With leukemia, these cancer cells are the white blood cells of the blood. A white blood cell's job is to defend the body against infections. These diseased white blood cells can't defend the body as well, making the body more susceptible to illness. Gradually, leukemia cells spread to other organs in the body, like the liver and spleen, and can lead to death. When Elian discovers treatment for childhood leukemia in the 1950s, she is working at the pharmaceutical company Burroughs Welcome in New York. She and her colleague, George Hitchings, are working on a completely new direction for pharmaceutical research. Instead of looking for drugs for specific diseases, they study first how the body and various substances work, to then see how they could fit these into medicines for various diseases. They study, among other things, cells. They learn how cells function and divide. Because once known, this can perhaps be useful in getting sick cells to stop growing and stop being cancerous. They try to find out which substances are necessary for cells to live and grow. They identify the cell's building blocks, a substance called purines. Purines seem to affect how cells divide. This was a great step forward, and Gertrude Ellian thinks it is something they can use against cancer cells. They develop a medicine with fake building blocks to trick the cancer cells. Instead of the usual purines building blocks, the cancer cells pick up the fake building blocks of the medicine. These false building blocks stop the cell's mechanisms and cause them to die. The medical treatment that will come to be known as cytotoxic or chemotherapy has just seen the first light of day. Gertrude and George keep working further to develop many more medications for diseases such as malaria and herpes. Her discovery is also the basis for creating medicines against HIV. And in 1988, she heard that she would be awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine, but she herself has not yet heard it directly from the Nobel Committee. She is happy, but still waits for that telephone call. How do you feel about winning? Well, obviously, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm very excited and still don't quite believe it because I still haven't heard from the Nobel Committee. I don't think they've been able to get through on the phone. The phone call comes, and on the 10th of December, 1988, Gertrude Ellian receives the award from the Swedish King's hand. She and George Hitching are awarded the prize for their pioneering work in drug research. 